Six in the box. French go on the right, Poff wide to the left. St. John sitting in the pocket with excellent protection, but nobody to throw to. He'll pull it down and run with it to the right side across the 25. Shoved out of bounds by Jaden Martinez. Touchdowns himself. First down from the 27. Hand off Jordan Williams. Sidestep, moves left in the backfield, finds a little bit of a hole, and is out near a first down again at the 39. Third and five here. St. John again with time in the pocket. Drops it underneath. Caught by Jordan Williams. Has the first down into Cortland territory. Just a little dump down. Yeah, Jack Whiney was... on this Cortland team got the initial hit. Scots are already ready to go. First down. Pressure comes. Looking long. French go out there. So is Winslow. French go by a nose. The ball got over Winslow's fingertips. And French goes in the end zone for a touchdown. Oh, boy. Carter St. John dropped that one in there like a beautiful potato. Two-point conversion goes in motion. Boys drops with time this time over to the sideline. Leaping, what a catch by J.J. Lapp with Spears draped all over him. It's a first down from the 36. Six-nothing Elma. Cortland looking for an answer. Jaden Alfano, St. John, nice hold to the left. Gets out of an ankle tackle, now has the sideline. Shoved out of bounds by Fredenberg. But Cortland moving downhill and looking for a potential TD for the lead. Three wide to the right. Boys straight away drops. Sits in the pocket with a lot of time. Into the end zone. Leaping grab, Ooh. and it's caught by Idevio. And the game is tied with a... With a conversion try to come. What a throw. Five or a 26 back there. It is a 25 of Khalil Brown. Carter St. John calls his own number on a quarterback keeper and he's got room on the corner. Out to the 30, the 35, the 40. Winslow saves a touchdown at the 45. Now on third and short. They'll try it with Eddie Williams. He's got the first down and tripped up a nice tackle by Whiney. Otherwise Williams would have gotten a lot more. Less than a yard is all the Scots need. They're going to toss it to Williams along the sideline. Crosses the 35 to the 30 to the 25 and pushed out of bounds. It's Winslow again, but all the way to the 20-yard line early in the second half. St. John on second down. Good protection. Rolls right. Going to have to run again to the 20 to the 15. He's got, got a blockers blocker. in front of first down, down to the 5. Set first they do. Handoff. Jordan Williams going to try to do it the old-fashioned way. Reaches the ball across, and Elma's back on top, 12 to 6. Great drive for the Scots, 88 yards. First down, Cortland from the 45. Motion across from IDVO, straightaway drop. Boys steps in, throws sideline, leaping grab Burgess, taken out of bounds by Drew Hum. Quarter. Boys takes the snap, sits in the pocket, throws over the middle. IDVO, who caught the touchdown, brought down by Nelson, but it's a first down to the 19. Send him in motion. Play action, looking left, and they'll throw the screen. IDVO has to reach for it, but makes the grab and cuts inside the pylon, and we're an extra point away from this game being tied up. And Kretschmar lost him a little bit coming across. He bit on the fake. Run. Right. It ends your day. Handoff, Khalil Brown, first down. There's been a lot of room today, and there is again. Midfield already gets out of a tackle at the 45, cuts inside to the 40, then initiates the contact with Martinez down to the 33. Year is 40, but hit from 56 last season. Carter St. John on a quarterback Seems throw out of the parted. 25, the 20, and all the way down to about the 17-yard line. Gold, Jordan Williams motion right again. Devereaux looks that way, throws behind. Great throw. But he reaches back and grabs it for a touchdown. Trent Devereaux, beautiful throw on the end cut. Down Cortland from the 25. They've scored on two out of three drives today. They're going to go along on their first play. Caught for a first down out at the 36. Second quarter. Play action. Boy's going to look for everything. Long lop's got a step. JJ Lap makes the catch. The ball comes loose. They're going to say he's down, which I think is correct. Cortland trying to answer the Elma score. Boys looks left. Got a drag route underneath. Lap makes the catch at the 10. They lost him again. This time Lap into the end zone waiting for a signal. That should be a, yeah, touchdown. a touchdown. And there it is. St. John play fake. Straight away drop. Looking. Nobody open. Now has to run. Ball knocked loose. A swipe from behind and a fumble and a recovery from Llewellyn. That's Lardero again. St. John didn't hear him. No, the and the strip clock sack didn't goes go the off, other way. He, it should have. He was standing out there a long time. After Elma got that defensive stop, they'll need to find another from the 39. Cortland hands off and Alfano St. John has the whole middle of the field to the 20. Inside to the 15. They push him forward. He's going to score in one play. Jaden Alfano St. John, 39 yards to the end zone and Cortland has its first lead of the day for St. John a little quick shoulder fake quick throw into the middle high and caught by McNiff for a first down out near midfield deficit of the day St. John another quick throw out to the sideline McNiff again a big block from French Coast Springs McNiff for near another first down trailing 27 to 20 going to try to do it on the ground Brown cuts inside at the 35, stumbles, dives forward, and he's got the first down to the 27. Five alive with 4.45 to play in the half. Shoulder fake, St. John, second level. Webb caught at the 15, his momentum pulls him out of bounds. Sporting history, second and goal. St. John going to try to run with it. He's got space, and one leg is all you need to find your way to the end zone. He rolls it on his way in. He's hobbling like he's in a pogo sticking competition, but Elma's back within one. First half. 
Alfano St. John, gonna try to work the left side. Soffredini chases him over there, but not able to bring him down. A big gain down the sidelines all the way to the 31 yard line. From a team that came in plus 29. Hand off to Capone, Capone to the left, cuts up. Um holds on, but makes the tackle all the way to the 12, almost the 11. Boys sends Idevio in motion, who scored twice already today. Alfano St. John pushes up the middle pile, moving down to the two. Should be first in and there. goal. At running back, first and goal from the two. Give it to Alfano St. John, and just as he did in the fourth quarter against Grove City, he strolls into the end zone and puts his team on top, 33-27. Yeah, that was too easy right there. Seconds of the first half. Starts with a handoff to Jordan Williams, finds some space, 30, 35, 40, jukes a man there and brought down at the 45. 40 seconds to go, no timeout. Devereaux, little shoulder fake, steps in, lobs it long. They got Lauterman wide Oh, what a throw! Yard line, and Ty Lauterman scores! What a throw by Devereaux! Wow! Devereaux with two first half touchdowns in relief. Portland from the its own 36. Play action up over the middle. Lap reaches back, makes the catch, and now gets away from Hum to the 40, to the 35. JJ Lap running down the sidelines, and it takes Kretschmar to save the tackle or to save a touchdown. Boys calls for it, gives it to Alfano St. John off right tackle. Now bursts to the outside, 15 10, cuts inside there. Soffredini saves the touchdown at the two. First and goal is Boys play action back of the end zone, tipped up and maybe caught anyway by Idevio. So. They I say he landed on the back line, and the officials oh will talk about touchdown. it. They say touchdown. Yardage in the first half. Play action, quick throw. This time Cole Thomas. They ran this play to McNiff earlier. Thomas spins and reaches across the first down marker. Third and three. St. John going to roll out. Ardero chasing. St. John got to look out, trying to keep the play alive. Throws late, leaning for it. Did Poff stay in bounds? Or it's Frenchko, Frenchko. pardon me, and he's got it at the three. What a catch by Frenchko. Everybody in tight. They get set. Play action, dropping Devereaux in trouble, and now drops the football, it. and it's loose, and it's going to be scooped up. I believe, well, there's a scramble for it at the bottom of the pile. A catastrophic yeah. change of sure events, is. and it is Cortland football. Over the day by the Scots. Boys drops to throw, well protected. Now runs into his own offensive lineman. Things collapse. He tosses it off to Alfano St. John, who cuts to the middle of the field. Gets away from two blockers. What an incredible play, and it's a first down out to the 38. The improvisation. Fourth down and one, they'll give it to Capone. He's got the first down and then some. Wow, spinning and just falling forward. Play action, left side, Lap caught at the 40. Gets away from Garland, Elma gets some help there, but not before Lap can get to the first down marker at the 34. Alfano St. John to the left side on first down, and again, the middle is just locked up for the Scots defense and they cannot get to the sidelines. It's another first down to the 21. The Elma 21. Play action, thrown left again. They'll take that underneath route. And Lap has another first down inside the 10. Third down and goal. Capone gets it, gonna head to his right, and the little change of direction works again, and it is a Cortland touchdown. They have been so adept at that, those backs all day long. Situation. Will be Khalil Brown. Brown dancing in the backfield, finding an opening, and gets the first down barely out to the 42. Behind St. John, create three on the left. They'll throw the screen to McNiff. To the 50 with blockers in front, 45-40. Good open field tackle out there. Second down and two. Push pass. Khalil Brown wants to throw it. Looking long. They got Lauterman in the end zone. Leaping. Did he hold on? Wait for a signal. It's a touchdown. Khalil Brown have a game. Second touchdown pass for Khalil Brown on the running back pass. Boys. Straightaway drop on first down over the middle. Idevio again. What a game he has had. Hogan holds on and makes the tackle at the 32. But underway here in the fourth quarter. Zach Boyce spins the ball, pulls it back to himself. Idevio over the middle again, out near midfield. Drew Hum hits him. He stays on his feet, actually loses yardage off of that as Kretschmar makes the tackle. From midfield, Cortland needs six. Boyce looking right, going to throw for all of it deep. And they've got Burgess wide open at the 15 for a touchdown. What a play by the Cortland Red Dragons. Paul Burgess with the touchdown. Zach Boys, who has been phenomenal today, hands it off to Capone, and he breaks the tackle. He's got the first down into Elma territory. Elma chases him down at the 46. Boys play action. They want to go big again. They got Burgess down at the 15. He has to slide to make the catch, but he does at about the 12. Good snap, hold down, kick up, and looks A-OK -okay to me. It's good. Oh, you're right, we're not under two, so. 
Play action, St. John rolls right, looks long, a lot of traffic out there, tipped up and a great interception. And Winslow, the cat and mouse game goes the other way, he got one. And the Cortland Red Dragons are headed to the semis. The Cortland faithful over on the far sideline are on their feet and their boys have got it done. Courtesy of Zach boys, an incredible performance today. Their best when it mattered most.